Okay. The solution to question one point three point two answer to one comma three comma two. This is also in form of a quadratic equation, but not equal to zero, but equal to p. That is x squared plus eight x plus sixteen is equal to p. You must make we must make sure you write we write it in the standard form, which is a quadratic equation. We have x squared plus eight x plus 16 minus p which is equal to 0. So this one is in form of a quadratic equation now. So we have to solve it quadratically. So therefore we, we have uh, a 0 less than 16 minus p less than 16. So we need to collect the like times Collect the like times. So we have uh, is zero minus sixteen less than minus p less than sixteen minus sixteen. We have minus sixteen less than minus p less than zero. We have two inequality here. We have a minus 16 less than minus p and then we also have a minus p less than zero. So let's take this one as a, the first inequality and then this one as the second inequality. So let us multiply the both by negative one. Multiply both equations by negative one. So when you multiply by negative one, so you have to change the sign. If you have less down, you need to change it to greater down. So let us multiply equation 1 by negative 1. You now have 16 greater than P. Equation 2 by negative 1 as well. We have where P greater than 0. But we can rewrite here our equation. P, 16, greater than P, is still the same thing as a P, less than 16. And the pre, greater than 0, is still the same thing as a 0, less than P. We can combine the two inequalities together, which will give us what? Is 0, less than P, less than 16. So that's the end of the solution to the equation 1, 3, 2.